It's a path every Michigan player takes to the field. But one has come farther than most to get here. Michigan! My journey, well, start with my mother's journey. She was born and raised in Liberia, West Africa. And when she was about like 12 years old, a civil war had broke out. A lot of people from her tribe and a lot of her family were being hunted down and murdered. This is the kind of terror Liberians face every day. Fighting between rival tribes first broke out in Liberia in 1989. The next year, as rebel soldiers raided the countryside, the war came to Agnes Pay's village. They burned my father's house. My father had his brother's house next door. They burned his wife and his children in the house. Agnes and thousands in her tribe fled the country on foot, settling in the squalor of refugee camps, first in Sierra Leone and then in Guinea. There in 1998, she became a mom for the second time, and the boy would bear a special name. Could he carry my father's name? Could he name is my father's name? I have to give them the life I never had. What drove my mom is the fact that she wanted to see her kids have a better future for tomorrow. Me and my brother were her world. She was going to do everything to make sure we had a future. We didn't even really know the future because we couldn't go back to Liberia. We couldn't go back. Our only hope was to come to America. For Agnes and her sons, America was Providence, Rhode Island. Helped by a grandmother and aunt already living there, the family started over with little more than each other. Just our life, you know, nothing. I have nothing. I came to America, I couldn't even read and write. So to help my boys, I see I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Our first couple of years in America weren't the best. Welfare and food stamps, uh, trying to do anything that we can to survive. Quickly, sports became the boys' way to thrive. One sport, especially. He was on Junior Pee Wee, and he just straight annihilated a kid, just straight ran through him like, and kept going, you know? And I think it wasn't just me, I think everybody on the, uh, on the football field was like, whoa, you know, like, who is this kid? By eighth grade, coaches at Bishop Hendricken, a prestigious Catholic high school with a football pedigree, wanted Quiddy to play there if his family could afford its share of tuition. I said, Mom, if you send me to Hendricken, I promise you won't have to pay for college. You're not going to pay for college, Mommy, I promise you. It's not easy. I have to take a second job. Some, sometimes some of his game I didn't get to attend. I have to work. Woody took advantage of the opportunities at Hendricken, in class and on the field, almost immediately. You know, he didn't come off the field. Defensive end, running back. I mean, he could have played any position on the field. I had him at our summer camp. He was really impressive in the pass rush drills and offered him a scholarship on the spot. Quiddy would earn offers from several Power Five programs and ultimately become a Wolverine. Now, a defensive playmaker, all academic Big Ten student, a team captain, but always a son fulfilling a pledge to his mother. If you didn't struggle, you would not know 
the good thing you have in life. It was not an easy journey. We want to cherish it. You make me proud. She never asked for anything in, in this life, but for me, I, I take it personal to, to make sure that she gets everything that she never had. I feel like that's why I work so hard. Just because I know what she's been through, I want to make sure she never has to lift a finger again. I'm going to hold my promise to her. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.